Welcome to Circuit Valley. Today I'm going to show you one more little project of mine. I'm going to talk about this little green board. On front of your screen you see this little board from Abnet. This is a small little board. It is called Micro ZFPGA SOM board. It has a zinc SOC from Xilinx. This SOC has dual core ARM CPU along with the FPGA on the same chip. So it is very versatile of a chip. Can be used for multiple projects. And this little SOM board you can find very easily because it's a quite a common board. But the issue with this board that it has these really high density connectors and you cannot just use it off the shelf you will need you would need a carrier board to use this FPGA board and I'll show you what did I design so this little board in front of you let me zoom in a bit so this little board in front of you which you see and this I designed this board it is second version of my previous carrier board for micro Z FPGA board and it has four layers and all the pins is nothing special has four layers USB power in another power connector alternate power input and on the back side it has no components only the differential routing it's a four layer board very very basic on this micro Z board there are three different power banks available and I have routed and I have routed these power banks onto these two connectors of course and you see these three regulators these three power banks can be individually powered from any of the regulators and each regulator is configurable for 1.8 volts 2.5 volts and 3.3 volt. If you're going to use LVDS, you can you can cut these solder bridges and just solder the new point or solder the alternate connection. Right now, all of the FPG, right now all of the regulators are configured for 1.8 volts. So if I need to configure 1.2 volts, if I need to configure 2.5 volt, I'll just cut it here and solder the new bridge. When I need to change back, I'll desolder here and solder it back. So these three, every regulator is configurable for three different voltages, and you can select whatever the voltage you want. Same, you can also use same regulator to power all three regulators using these three SMD solderable jumpers. And this board is very very simple. Two high density connectors. Board our FPGA boards fit on top of this very very easily, and you can power the carrier board using USB C. So let's connect it and we'll see how this works. So now I'll connect the USB C power. You can see board is on, LED is lit up, as easy as that. So it works perfectly fine, as simple as that. That's it for this video. You can this is a completely open source project. You can find this project on my website www.circuitvalley.com. Source of this board is available on my GitHub account. Links to GitHub and my website is available in the description of this video.